I'm going to go ahead and press record. Oh my gosh, I know what day it is. It's November 1st, guys. I always hop on here and I'm like, hey, welcome, Tuesday call. But I know it's November 1st because why do I know this? Because Court of Force is open for everybody. And this is a topic that we're going to talk about tonight. So one thing that I've been seeing, or not one thing, I've been seeing so many questions from so many coaches like, hey, how are you guys promoting Court of Force? Or how do you promote something that you or yourself is, are not excited about? Which... She's not on here right now, but I'm totally going to call her out. Katie, I have no idea. Not Katie Weatherly, but Katie Lewis, I have no idea how you're not excited about this program because I like am pissing my pants with excitement. And excuse my French, that's really excited for, for those you know about excitement, right? Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about how to promote or how to build up hype on your social media presence. Um, to, to, oh, here she is. She's showing up now after I just totally called her out. Katie, I was calling you out and you weren't even here. <laughs> um, so um, to how to build up your, your, the hype for Core to Force um, without being pushy, without being salesy, talking about how the promotion or that it's promotion or it's a promotion for November, talking about how it's a brand new program and things like that, because we don't want to be coming off as salesy, right? We don't want to be coming off as pushy or convincing or anything like that because that's just dirty and we don't want to be used car salesmen. So first things first, I want you all to write this down. We are having a team wide core to force challenge group and it's called fight for your life. And I'm telling you the reason why, and I'm jumping all over my notes here. So bear with me. And this, these are some points that you might want to write, write down too is so the reason why I came up with fight for your life. Yes, like all the logos and everything you'll see from conquer from within, right? And so I'm sitting here, I'm trying to explain the program to people that have never done it. And I'm like, there's something seriously emotional and mental about this program. Like it's not just lifting weights. It's not just burning a bunch of calories doing high intense cardio. Like there's something that you're fighting from within. Like you are challenging yourself from within like, yes, I know when you lift weights and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm upping my weights by 10 pounds. I have to like challenge my, myself and my mindset, but there's, I'm, t I'm not kidding you guys. For those of you who've already tried it, you, you probably know this, but there's something that comes from the heart that comes from the inside of you that you realize it's going to be a total transformation. It's not just something that's going to help you sh lose that fat. It's not going to be something that helps you build those you know, sleek, sexy muscles. It's something that's going to help transform you from the inside out. And um, so that's why I'm saying fight for your life because when you're fighting for your life, you have to use that positive mindset. You have to think like, like if you've ever been in a situation where you feel like I'm, I'm going to lose it or I'm losing something or whatever, your mentality kicks in and you're like, okay, I got to think of something. Like maybe you, you've been in a, in a detrimental situation where like I'm going to lose my house or um, my radiator broke in my car. I need to fix it and I don't have the money or something. You, your mindset kicks in and you're like, like a boost of energy comes in and you're like, I got to figure out how to fix this. I have to, I have to figure out a way to make this work. Right. You guys feel me on this. So I'm, ho I'm hoping so. Okay. Thank you, Charlene. <laughs> um, so fight for your life. This is something that I think I wanted something to grab people's attention to because I've, I've been a part of program launches before that I wasn't excited about, like Hammer and Chisel. Not going to lie, wasn't excited about. Country Heat, yeah, I was excited about it, but I wasn't really. Like, I totally faked the funk on that. And it was, it was weird. And like Katie Lewis on here, she is not as, like I just called her out before she was on. Um, she's not excited about um, Core to Force, which I think you're crazy. Um, but so, so deal with me here on, hi, Logan. Sorry. Um, I see something shiny in my mind. It's like all over the place. So fight for your life. This is something that I want to attract. I want to attract attention to. I want it to get a lot of people's attention because I think so much that when we, when we promote challenge groups or we promote coaching opportunities or whatever about how, what we do has changed. I think a lot of the time we hit on the surface only, if that makes sense. Um, like we talk about, Oh, look at these jeans. I, I haven't been able to fit in them in two, two months or, um, you know, I'm rocking a bikini for my first time or, you know, you know, whatever it's all surface. -able. But when we, when we focus on the inside, when we help people focus on the inside, 
they're going to get results and they're going to stay on that path. It's not going to be, boom, they're done in 30 days. They're going to go back to their old habits. It's not going to be, boom, 21 days are done. They're going to go and eat a smorgasbord of pastries. It's not like I'm, I'm only committing for 30 days and I'm giving it my all of my workouts and everything else is not important. When we focus, when we help people focus on the inside, that's where the true transformation happens. That's where they really see results and they keep moving forward. Right. And our main, our main commitment, our main responsibility is help people receive or get results. Right. So fight for your life. And November 3rd, this Thursday at 630 Pacific time, I am doing, I create an event. I will post it in the big team page, but I create an event. I'm going live talking about core divorce, talking about all the great thing, great, grand and wonderful things about core divorce, talking about my first week um, about the program and my transformation already. And then I'm also going to be turning it into a coaching opportunity post. So feel free to invite anybody and anyone you want to invite. Um, I'm going to take all your customers and clients. So no, I'm just kidding. I will make sure that they tag you. You guys know how I always do. I always say that to tag the people that invited or tag the person that invited you. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. So first things first, I got to tell you guys, so I shared in, for those of you who are part of the open accountability group, the team wide open accountability group, yesterday I shared um, a side by side photo of week, my week one pictures and they were from the backside. And I did not want to share this on social media because there's parts of my body that I don't like, right? We all have this, right? I've noticed when I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and an adrenal fatigue, and maybe it had something to do with me turning 33, that um, I started getting cellulite, which was weird because I've never had that before. Even when I weighed almost 300 pounds, I never had it before. So I started noticing it and I'm like, oh my God, this is stuff that wasn't there before. And then my hips were getting wider and like the backside just did not look like it used to. So it was weird. Not, not that I look at my backside often. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent here. Anyway, so I, I put a side by side photo up and I was proud of my progress. I was so proud of my progress that I had to show someone. So I posted my accountability group and I also posted in my challenge tracker app groups. Um, yes, the ugly side of aging. Thank you so much. Um, however, Ever since I posted, I had coaches like Angie and coaches like Jen and people reaching out to me. They're like, oh my God, I need to, I need to share that picture. Can I share that picture? And I'm like, well, shit, if these girls are going to be sharing it, then, then I need to share it. And the thing that like made me humble as a leader, and I'm sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent here, but I tell you guys all the time to share your damn photos, right? Even if it's scary, even if you want to throw up in your mouth when you do it, even if there's a picture, your before photo that you're like, I really don't want to share that with the world. These are my very first pictures. I'm not even kidding you guys. I've been a coach for almost five years. These are my very first pictures that I've ever done before pictures in a bikini. No joke. They're usually in a sports bra and really tight Nike compression shorts to like high and tight everything. You know what I mean? So these are like as real as it gets. I shared them today and I'm like, it was my Transformation Tuesday post, but I'm telling you guys, I did one week, one week of this program. I, the meal plan is ridiculously easy. I, I made myself pizza. I had spaghetti swash with like spaghetti sauce. I had, I had Halo Top ice cream. I know it has sugar alcohol in it and some people don't like it, but I still had ice cream and I still lost almost 10 pounds and inches. And my backside, if you look like my muff, like the, the muffin, part. It's like shrinking and my back fat is shrinking and I'm getting definition in my, in my shoulder blades. It's like completely crazy. Oh, I got to see what Jackie said. Oh yeah. I, I shared my, my first week meal plan on my, my blog fitwithvicky.com for those of you that want to subscribe. Um, yeah, I shared everything that I ate. I said, you know, you don't have to deprive yourself. It's everything like we, we can eat good things and moderation. And one thing that I found, and this is something that you guys could use as a tip for yourself, for anyone that's struggling with nutrition, post every damn thing you eat. Cause I promise you, if you do, not only are you sharing those yummy, delicious, healthy recipes with people, you're less likely to eat crap food. I'm not kidding you because I am that mom who would eat my son's pizza crust after he was done with dinner when I was making a salad. 
or I was that mom who would eat his tortilla and cheese while I'm making, you know, like I, I would do those things. So in my mentality, like my mindset, I'm like, well, I'm going to be posting. I'm using, like, I tell you guys, use your social media as documentation, right? We're sharing our story. We're sharing our journey. So here I am. I've been eating. So I haven't ate this good in a very long time. Why? Because I'm sharing every damn thing that I'm eating. And you're less likely to binge on Domino's pizza if you're posting it on social media. Yes, we all have our moments, but that makes us human. But don't indulge. Everything's fine in moderation. I'm not saying like elephant ears are fine in moderation because they're probably not. But make sure that you, that you use your social media as documentation. And I want you guys to throw out the fact like, oh my gosh, people are going to get annoyed from all my food posts. Don't ever think that. Same thing with your fitness posts. And those people, if they do, they're not the ones that you want to help anyways. So just ignore them. Just think of it as like you're, you're empowering others to eat well while you're holding yourself accountable. So there's that. Okay. So let me go. I have a little script of things that I'm going to talk about so I don't get on these tangents, which I already spent, what, 15 minutes doing. Um, so number one best way to promote this, this, this program. Are you ready? Be the challenger. Be the challenger. Start now on Beachbody On Demand and share that ish with the world. Go back to when you very first signed up as a coach or you very first signed up as a challenger and you were so excited. You were screaming from the rooftop the day that Beachbody package arrived on your doorstep. You were like, oh my God, my life is going to change. Go back to that place where you were. Maybe it was last week. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was two years ago. But I promise you, no matter when it was, you still remember the exact way you felt the first time your very first package arrived. Am I right? All right, guys, come on, be engaging here. Do I need to feed you guys some energized to keep up with me? Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> okay, so right now, you guys, if you ordered the program today because it was launched or maybe you signed your husband up yesterday with the challenge pack or whatever, it's in your Beachbody On Demand right now. So start right now, and I'm not, I wasn't gonna save this or share this until later, but Beachbody is hosting a, yay, Katie, um, Beachbody is hosting a contest for the month of November. So every, you could do videos up to one minute on Instagram or Twitter. Write this sh down. Instagram or Twitter, one minute videos. Do not speed up your video and use hashtags core to force and hashtag contest, two different hashtags. And every day they're giving away $1,000. $1,000 every single day. Like, who doesn't want to win $1,000, right? Right. So, one minute, they have to be videos under one or up to one minute long on Instagram or Twitter, hashtag core to force and hashtag contest. And share that ish. And I promise you the most relatable videos are going to be the ones where you're messing up, are going to be the ones where you look like a human being and not like this hardcore Jericho bad, you know, mamma jamma. Those are the ones that people are like, oh my gosh, maybe I can do that too. So don't, and don't be that person that has to rewatch your videos like 500 times before you post it because you're going to be hypocritical or critical of yourself and not post it. Okay. Here's the thing that I think a lot of you guys are going to want to sucker punch me, okay? When I say be the challenger, be the challenger only with quarter force. No hybrids. That means don't mix quarter force with body beast. Don't mix quarter force with insanity, pio, anything, any other program. And why I mean this is because do you guys realize when you do multiple programs, you're showing other people that they cannot receive good results with just one program. We are responsible. One thing that Daniel Notoni talked about at leadership, it was freaking mind blowing to me. She said, you as a coach, you are responsible to be a guinea pig, basically. Whether or not you like a program when it launches, you should do it. You should showcase it to your friends, to your followers, to your family, because you're 
you're showing them what's possible. Right. Like I finished country heat. I, I wasn't excited about finishing country heat. I'm like, all right, heel toe. Yeah. No swing, whatever. I, I still did it. I still did it. I didn't incorporate anything else. I did it from day one to day 30. I know a lot of you crazies love country heat. That's because y'all could wonky feet and that shit discouraged me like hell. And I just, I was done after I couldn't get wonky feet. It was, it was done. Um, anyways, so make sure that you're, you're promoting, that you're marketing what is doable for everybody. Not a lot of people can pay for multiple programs. Not a lot of people have time to do doubles or triples every day. So make sure that you're, you're not showcasing perfection. You're not showcasing like how hardcore you can go, but you're being human. You're being imperfect and you're showcasing what just following one program, the meal plan, drinking Shakeology can do for you. Okay. And I know that's hard because a lot of people, I, st I love you, Lori. Okay. A lot of people like to do hybrids, but I'm telling you, your business is going to accelerate if you stick to one program. Okay. Um, follow the schedule. So, um, my girl, Cindy, uh Oh, did someone unmute themselves? Got a question? Okay. Sorry. Um, my girl, Cindy Adkinson and I were talking about, um, following the nutrition plan to a T cause she was worried about us going through a challenge group with Thanksgiving coming up. Right. And she's like, so what are we going to do about Thanksgiving? And I said to me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach people healthy habits the first three and a half weeks before Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to let them know if you want to have pumpkin pie, if you want to have gravy, if you want to have stuffing, whatever, use it as a yellow container, but don't go over your yellow containers, right? So they're still sticking with their portions. Yes, they can have, they can indulge on the Thanksgiving festivities, right? Because let's say, let's all be honest, we're not going to go to Thanksgiving without has, having pie or gravy, but use it as a yellow container. And she asked if I am requiring perfection in my group, following the meal plan to a T. If it's not in the eating plan, are they allowed to eat it? No, because my life is not perfect. I don't eat perfect. I don't promote perfect. Like my Halo Top ice cream I ate last week, that was not on there. I used it as a red and a yellow, but it was not on there. We, we, what we need to do as coaches is we need to set them up for success by helping them develop and helping ourselves develop healthy eating habits and following the portion control system. Because even if you have like a, a Halloween candy from last night, use that as a yellow. Like that's always my fallback. If something is not on the meal plan per se, use it as a yellow, but you're still staying in your guidelines. Does that make sense? And promote that too. Like be honest, be human on social media and be like, look, I'm, I don't have, I don't know what I'm trying to grab, but like, look, I'm having a pumpkin pie and I'm using it as a yellow because I'm human and blah, blah, blah. Um, and my next thing was be human. And I'm saying like, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to be seen and be vulnerable. And I know that's really hard for some people, but People don't follow you for perfection. They don't want to feel like you, you are creating these unattainable goals that they can never reach, right? They want to know that they can still get good results by being human, by living a, that fits into their lifestyle. And I'm not saying if you don't do the pie, that's, that's great. But for those of us that do do the pie, do do the pie. Wow. Anyways. And share that ish. Yes, mashed potatoes. I'm, oh, there's all my yellows right there. Damn it, Charlene. Totally forgot about the potatoes. Um, share your stuff on social media. Like I said before, document it. Document it from the day that you ordered it. Document when you try it on Beachbody On Demand because you're so impatient. You can't wait for the package to arrive at your doorstep. Document when it arrives on your doorstep. And I'm not talking about just taking a photo. Oh, look what box came in. You are marketing Beachbody when you do that. Anytime that there's a logo that says Beachbody or coaches or whatever, you're marketing Beachbody. What I need you to promote is how excited or how you feel about this package you arrived. So maybe you're going to be like doing a shit eat and grin. Sorry, kids. We're good. Okay. We're doing, we're, I had to look around real quick. Um, 
Yeah, you you know, like you could take a picture. Like Katie Lewis is fabulous when it comes to these posts. Like she'll she'll hold whatever she's talking about, and she has this like huge smile. Like I don't know what she's talking about, but I want to see whatever is in her caption because her her excitement is capturing me. So those are the kind of posts that you need to do. Like have yourself involved in the post of whatever it is. Capture some attention. Like one time I did do a Shakeology post of the box and just coincidentally I have a pair of shoes that matches the Shakeology green box. And so I did pair up my shoes. Like I'm standing there next to my Shakeology box and I'm just focusing on the top, like the top, the topic of the conversation was I go to my doorstep to, to see um, what the UPS man dropped off and I noticed the box. I said nothing about Shakeology. I talked about the color of my shoes more, but Shakeology, the box was just like, um, a marketing ploy or, you know, like something in the background saying like, Oh, it's so funny that this matches this. And I talked about my shoes, my Jack Purcell's or whatever, but don't focus so much on marketing beach body. Beach body does a great job for him. So share your story in all your posts. This is what I'm going to start talking about when, or now what I'm going to start talking about is when you post share parts of your story in your post, share parts of your story through your workouts. And when you, who has tried Cord de Force already? I want to know. Jane, you need to get your booty on. Okay. <laughs> I'm calling you out, ladies. Keisha? Okay. So we all know when, when you're doing a workout and it's hard, what do you usually say to yourself? Like right in the chat box, I want to see what you guys say to yourself. Do you say like, you, you got this, one more minute, keep going, or I know it's hard, don't give up. What do you say to yourself to keep you going? Like when it's hard. Keep effing going, don't be average, okay? Come on, old lady, you can do it. Holy shit, you got it tonight. Yep, okay, it's going to be worth it, awesome. <laughs> okay, it's only 30 seconds, yes, yes. I hear my kids and my you're saying you got this. Oh, I love that. Yes. Okay. See? Oh, are you kidding? He's like, <laughs> okay. So I want you guys to like, maybe keep a pen and paper next to where you work out or whatever. So you can write like jot down thoughts or whatever, or quotes that you come up with in your head. If you're anything like me when you're working out, but I want you guys to start turning your thoughts when you're working out into a story or incorporating them as part of your story. You know, like I talk about a lot when I'm posting my, um, my, my workouts with Core to Force, I talk about inner strength a lot. Like I talk about how um, throwing those punches and throwing those kicks remind me that I'm fighting for happiness. I'm fighting for health. I'm fighting for fulfillment. Because I remember one day, long, long time ago, I thought to myself, I was not worth the fight. So I'm sharing parts of my story because of my thoughts that was coming through my, ha my head when I was working out. So incorporate that in your post. Don't just come up and be like, here's my, here's my post-workout selfie. I got my sweat on. Hey. That has no value to anyone, right? What has value is sharing parts of your story so you're opening up to people so they're connecting with you so they can feel what you feel through Instagram or Twitter or social media of any sort. Yes, get good at telling your story. There's parts of our story that, we're, that is easier for us to share than others. Focus on those. Don't try to tackle the hard stuff right now. Just touch on the things that you're comfortable with sharing. Um, share other people's progress. You may have just ordered it today. You may haven't tried, you might have not tried it out yet. Share other people's progress. There's, you know, I'm a weekend. Andrea Crowder is a weekend. Um, there's a lot of coaches that were in the original test group that are also misfits. There's Nicole Halt and Jenny Rearson that ha have completed two different rounds. Um, my girl, Manny Watkins, that spoke on last week's team call, she was in the original test group too. There's a lot of people that have amazing results. Don't just go to Google and click on the stock photos and share those because there is no story to connect with them. You guys need a story to connect with even progress photos from another person. And it's awesome when you actually share their verbiage, share their wording, share their struggles in it. Instead of just saying, check out my girl, she lost 13 pounds. Boom. 
Was it hard for her? Did she struggle in any way, shape, or form? Did she follow the nutrition plan to a T? Did she miss any workouts? Nobody knows any of this, right? So make sure there's a story behind every post. Share small successes. We get so gung-ho about the scale having to move down. First off, I swear if any one of you weighs yourself more than once a week, you're banned from Tuesday night team calls, okay? Don't do it. It's not good for your mindset. So small successes. Don't just share what the scale says. The only reason I lost 9.6 pounds my first week because I ate like a pig and drank like a fish in San Diego. I'm not going to lie. And when I travel, I swell up anyways. So I'm sure my body would have gradually lost five pounds of it. But I shared that to show progress. I, I'm very open book. Like I think it was Jackie or Angie shared one of my photos yesterday. And there was a girl talking about losing that much weight isn't healthy for you. And I, I came up there and I was like, okay, girl, this is what really happened. Like, I'm letting you know that I, you know, I was a tank when I got home. It's not normal, but yada, yada, yada. But share small successes. What I mean is how long were you able to go that round without giving up? Were you able to do push-ups on your toes instead of on your knees? Were you able to do higher kicks? You know, the successes that incorporate the inner strength of us instead of just the physical appearance because it takes a lot of work to keep on going when we want to quit right we've all been there when when we're so dead tired or we're so unmotivated we don't want to quit or we don't want to keep going oftentimes we push the pause button but then there's something inside of us that like no girl you can't do that like autumn calabrese says you're only quitting on yourself or maybe Shalene Johnson says that, or maybe they all say it, but it's true. When you, when you stop your workout, you're only quitting on yourself. Do the best you can and share those small successes. Share that you didn't give up that day. Share that you wanted to, but you didn't. Share that you were able to hold plank one second longer. Share that you were able to throw 25 more punches than the day before. I don't know, but it has to be related to you. Don't look at what Chelsea's doing. Don't look at what Jamie's doing or Katrina or Katie. Look at what you're doing and what you should be focusing on. Because a lot of times as a challenger, as a coach, we start doubting ourselves when we see other people's success. Am I right? We start getting discouraged and defeated. <clears throat> well, I'm, why am I not losing weight like her? Well, why can't I do that like her? Put your blinders on, stay focused on the things that are important. Because yes, it's great that Jamie could kick six feet high. Yes, it's great that Katrina could hold a one minute plank. But what matters to you, no, <laughs> Katrina, what matters to you is the stuff that you're doing and the stuff that you're improving on every single day, right? That's what matters to you. No one else is gonna help you get the life, the happiness, the health that you want. It's only you, so stop comparing and stop looking everywhere else. I'm six. <laughs> I love you, Jamie. Um, <clears> okay, <throat> this is homework for you guys. I want you to research it. Jamie, don't look at me like that. Homework. <laughs> research it. I'm not saying homework like you have 24 hours to fill out an assignment. I'm saying research it. Go in the coach online office and look under the training guide and get to know the program. Get to know how many workouts there are. Get to know who's it good for. Get to know um, what kind of um, timing each one is get to know the ins and outs of it. So you feel comfortable and confident talking to people about it when they message you, because I promise you people are going to be like, Oh my God, girl, what are you doing? Oh my God. I need to get my hands on that. Because when I've been sharing my progress so far over the last nine days, every single post I've done about core to force has something about my story inside or in the post in the content. And people are reaching out to me saying, what are you doing? I need that. I need that inner strength. I need to work on my inside while working on my outside. I need that. But in order to do that, you, and in order to talk about it comfortably, instead of shutting down and be like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. What do I say to this person? You have to know what you're talking about, right? Also, go on YouTube 
<clears throat> and search core to force. Everyone that was in the original test group has a testimonial on um, YouTube. They have um, different work, they have snippets of workouts and stuff like that. So, um, uh, Hillary, you're the bomb.com. You made a cheat sheet for yourself. That's awesome. So, um, everyone could just hire Hillary to do the dirty work for them. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so research it, really get to know it and come up. I want you guys to come up with talking points that you can copy and paste. And I'm not saying copy and paste like, Hey girl, how are you? Do you want to do quarter force with me? I'm talking about write your explanation of what the program is. When someone asks you, I don't want you to come to them and vomit of the mouth when they ask you what the program is. First, I want you to ask questions. So ask them what makes them interested. What are their goals? What have they been struggling with? Things like that. But I want you to have something that is time management friendly for you that you can copy from your laptop, your phone, whatever. And it's a chunk of the description. So a quarter force is a mixed martial arts program, yada, yada, yada. It comes with portion control containers, blah, 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 whatever. And your own jive lingo, copy and paste. Have it, something to copy and paste. The same thing with the different packages. Because people are going to ask you the cost. And I don't want you to be like, oh, yeah, so the challenge pack is on sale this month for $140. You'll lose them. What you need to do. After you talk about their goals, after you talk about their struggles, what they've been doing currently, and really build up the hype of the inner strength it builds, because people are going to want that more than the physical stuff, I promise you, or at least the ones that are actually serious about making a life change. After you get all into the, the work and stuff with them, they're going to ask the price. And you're going to say the price depends on what package you get. So there's the basic kit, there's the deluxe kit, and then there's the challenge pack with Shakeology, challenge pack with the performance pack. So what you guys need to do, and this is homework for you, is to find out what's in each package and provide the amount. Like I just did this today, I said, you get quarter force, full workout program, nutrition guide, eating plan, uh, perfect portion control containers, um, and the schedule for $59.85, or you get the deluxe package with yada, yada, yada for $19.85, or you get blah, 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 you know, and it's easy for them to see, like, it, when you break down the packages for them, it helps showcase the value of each package. Some may not always go for the challenge pack, but at least they have the option of other things. If you just give them the challenge pack, and they can't afford it, or they don't like Shakeology, or they've heard horrible things about Shakeology, and they're cuckoo, they're going to go running. But if you give them the different packages, you may still help someone change their life by giving them the basic kit or the deluxe kit. Maybe they don't want Shakeology. Maybe they want the performance line. But how are they going to know that the performance line is available unless they're told? So make sure that you break down the different options for them because everyone's different. Everyone has different needs. Some people need more nutri nutrients. Some people need more help with recovery. Some people may already have Shakeology. You never know. Um, isn't it about people, not money? That's why we have so many different options. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good girl, Holly. You know this. Um, so yeah. So make sure that you have that option. And also, if you know I feel like ever since I started breaking down the packages for people, I'm more confident when it comes to talking about cost. I'm, I know that sounds weird, but I think there comes a part when we, when we sign up as a coach, we start, getting, um, we start getting a little worried when it comes to talking to people about challenge packs or programs or stuff because we know that in the back of our head, we're getting something from it, right? And so we start feeling guilty. And so we don't really want to share everything with them because we don't want to be seen as a, a bad guy or a salesman or pushy. But yet we can't really help them if they're not getting anything. Yes, we could be their encourager, their supporter and things like that. But when you, when, when you feel comfortable and confident about you're helping someone, your job is to help people. 
The, the money is just a bonus. The commission is just a bonus. The team cycle bonus is just a bonus. You do this for a living. It's your responsibility. And you have to be confident when you talk about it. Otherwise, they're going to feel that, that weird vibe that you're giving off to. Okay? So when you're like, hey, you can get this, 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 or this, or this. Which one would work best for you? It helps them, too, that you're like, oh, well, you're not just trying to get me into this big package. You're obviously caring about how, how I feel or what I need to break these down for me. And more often to, than not, they are going to go with the challenge pack because they're going to see the value in it. And make sure that you guys highlight in the challenge packs both the Performance Line and Shakeology Beachbody On Demand. They can stream other workouts. The three-week yoga retreat is only on Beachbody On Demand. There's Insanity, the complete program, which is insane. Katie, you're insane. All you girls are insane that do that crazy stuff. Um, the full program is on Beachbody On Demand for free. There's tons of different workouts on there that are only on Beachbody On Demand. And also the Fix 8, <clears throat> the Fix 8 cooking show is also on Beachbody On Demand. And you can stream other workout, or you can stream <clears throat> delicious recipes that fit in your containers. So make sure that you really highlight those. And last, but certainly not least, when you're explaining all the packages, let them know that no matter what package they choose, they get you as a coach for a lifetime. Because that right there, my friends, is the most valuable asset in every single one of those packages. I kid you not, because we all know what it's like to be on our own journey solo, and that shit sucks. So when you have someone that you can count on, you have some support, you have someone encouraging you, you have someone you can go to invent to and say, you know what, I did a crappy job with my nutrition, how can I get back on track? Or you can celebrate successes. Oh my God, I turned down pumpkin pie and I ate broccoli instead. Then you can celebrate those successes with your coaches, with your coach. Y'all look at me like, yeah, no one's going to say that to me. <clears throat> but you guys have to make sure that you show the value in you because you are the most valuable asset in every single package. Not a lot of people can do what you do. You guys are selfless. You guys lead with your heart. You guys love helping other people. And you show up every single day because you love doing what you do. So make sure that you show others that value too, okay? All right, that's it. Don't forget about the contest. $1,000 a day. Hashtag quarter force. Hashtag contest. In a video. Instagram. Twitter. Quarter force videos. Er day. Er day. Okay. So you guys can unmute yourself and um, ask any questions if you need. I'm going to go through here. This is the new insanity, by the way. So you're just as crazy as they are. Oh, my gosh. No. Stop it. See, Holly? Get on, get on there. Start sh showing your quarter force. Wait. So everyone that bought quarter force already, raise your hand. Yeah, Nisha has two hands. She's like, said it. Okay. Um, awesome, Lori. Okay. Who is um, iffy about buying quarter force? Lori. Only because you have back surgery, so I completely understand. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Not if you just need the new check. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to go through here, see if there was any questions. Dana, can anyone else commit to a 5 a.m. Central workout time? Oh, 5 a.m. Central, that's 3 a.m. Katrina's like, you, you feel me? That's 3 a.m. Pacific. I am out of that, Dana. Can anyone else commit to 5 a.m. workout time? Central? I know Jackie and Angie get up early. I don't think that early, though. 5 a.m. Pacific time. Oh. Yeah, I really wasn't, wasn't sure where everybody was. So I was kind of grasping at straws, but... Well, I know that um, I know that Cindy has a lot of um, central time, like Jesse, Jeff, and... Um, and she has some East Coasters, too. I would post in the big team page because I think that would be a good idea. Um, if we start on Beachbody On Demand tomorrow, will we start over on the 14th? Yeah, because you said that, that if we buy it now, it'll unlock on Beachbody On Demand. And to start it, like, 
tomorrow, you know, right. just to show that we're doing it. So yes. then when our challenge starts, would we start over? No. So just like with any other challenge group, just because you are doing a challenge, like I've been hosting 21 day fix challenge groups for as long as I can remember. I haven't always been doing 21 day fix challenge group. And the way I was doing it, I started last week, right? So I'm going to be two weeks ahead of everybody. I'm not going to restart it on the Monday that when we start our group, I'm just going to keep going because this is a program I'm going to continually keep going with. We are not having a new pro program launch in February because they want to really get people into Core to Force because it's so internally transforming that they want to see a lot of progression with people and help people get results. So I guess it's an independent choice if that's something that you want to do is start over. But me personally, I am not starting over. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. And I think it's good too, because then you get people excited. Like you could be like, Oh, look at my week one transformation so far. And then it's going to help people like get really excited about it. And then you say show week two when everyone's on week one and they're going to see what's possible for them the next week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I had a girl ask me about this program is different from any of the other ones, what the hype was all about. So I had to go reach research that today. Awesome, Jackie. So another question that I got a lot and maybe you guys have got this too is how this program differs from Les Mills combat <clears throat> because there is a program. If you guys are unaware, there's a program called Les Mills combat, but this program works. It's not just all cardio. It works. Um, building muscle with um, strength training workouts like you're doing and I don't want to scare you guys but there's there's workouts that you're doing like 150 push-ups in different ways shapes and forms during the workout it's <clears throat> it's really cool and I'm my shoulders are gonna be like boulders by the time I'm done with this um, but and also it's more hit workouts like high intensity interval training so where you have blasts of high intense um, cardio in between your rounds, where, card or where combat was more just like the rounds, they'd stop and like do the back and forth and then they'd, they'd fight. So it's more gradual combat is and then, um, co or, and then court of force has more um, high intense interval training. So I hope that, I know it was a little random. Okay. Oh. I haven't weighed my, myself in a month. Chrissy has my skill. That's awesome, Charlene. Yes, do a weekly document, documentary on Facebook Live. That is such a great idea, Tracy. If you guys have a blog, if you do YouTube, if not, that is completely fine. Use Facebook Live and just do like a recap. Like this is what happened. These are the workouts I sucked at. This is what's good. This, you know, this is my transformation, whatever. Um, that is a great way to share your progress too. Um, I usually ask them if I could share the results. Oh, yes. Ask other people to share the results. Is it okay to post other results in our group? I didn't want to overstep. <clears throat> yes. I'll, yeah. Just like Lori said, always ask. Um, hips won't get sexy by themselves. Oh, Keisha, I love you. Um, okay. So... I hope I didn't, I don't want to go scroll all the way back because there's like a thousand messages. You guys were chatty Cathy's today, which I appreciate. But does anyone have any questions about this? About the program itself, about promoting it? For those of you, <clears throat> Katie, that aren't excited about the program, do you feel comfortable talking about it? If you aren't excited about the program, Katie, did you get it? Did I see that you got it too? Yeah, I just ordered it. Um, okay. I'm actually thinking about quitting Insanity to start it just because um, I saw your results and I, I like those. <laughs> I got you. Yes. <laughs> um, well, good. Then, you know, you're taking the hard work from me because I was going to say that, you know, do the program and share. Like, you could even share that you're not excited about the program or that you've had um, – reservations about it or however you feel like be be completely honest I want yeah, I did I just made a post about that just now so oh, look at you. yeah <laughs> you look so thrilled about it yeah yeah 
I uh, have a um, question. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so we um we're gonna be running the. I'm kind of going horse. Sorry, we're running the group through. Are we doing this challenge tracker? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how are we gonna get our people added? You can add X amount of admins, right? Yep. You can have thirty. You have, oh, you okay. have up to thirty coaches, and then they could all add. Okay. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be good. We'll be good. Um, so Hillary said, is there going to be a video that we can send people? Are you talking about like a clip of the workout itself? I can't hear you, Hillary. Nope. All right, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. I'm um, talking about like the video clips that we send to people about programs. Like if they ask about a program that I usually send them. I didn't see any in the back office. Um, well, um, yes, there are, there are on YouTube. If you go and click court of force, um, there okay. is, I will, I will post one in um, the big team page if you want to use it. Um, but I would honestly, I would use it as a last resort before I would talk to get them talking about their goals and everything first before you send the video, but then give them a little, like for a little taste so they can see what, um, um, that, that it's all about. Okay. Um, Keisha groceries. Was it simple to get supplies? Honestly, it was super simple. Like, um, anything that is that a regular grocery store? Like I went for, to Fred Meyer and Higgins for mine. I got like pita, pita breads, um, tons of veggies, um, sweet, pot sweet potatoes. I don't even know what they're, I don't even know what all this stuff is called, but, um, basically all you're eating is clean foods and anything that makes your body feel good. Like that's, that's how I, that's how I see it because I know the foods that make my body feel like, Oh my God, I hate you so much. Why'd you feed me like this? to the foods that are like, oh, this makes me feel good, you know? So it's nothing crazy where you have to go to like Trader Joe's like 500 miles away to get. Um, it's just like, I wish I had the meal plan here, but it's just like the 21 day fix or like the, um, like a normal nutrition plan, you know, like you can't have um, coffee creamer. Sorry. Um, that's one of my yellows every day. Don't judge me. Um, but, um, but it's really easy and you, you know, I'm going to be honest. So I spend, I buy groceries for me and my mom because my mom lives here, um, and my son every week. And so the past two weeks I've spent $150 on food for all of us in two weeks. And I eat a lot and my boyfriend comes up on weekends. So that's kind of like five people. But, so, I mean, it's not, it's not anything that's crazy. Um, I was told in a Zoom once, it's not about you, regardless if you want the program or not. It's about sharing your journey and showing others that it's available because someone might want it. Yes, Chelsea. Smart cookie. So the basic kit doesn't come with the containers. Yes, all the kits come with the containers. Yep. Um, I'm awful with meal planning. I try and be a chef for myself and hubby and four kiddos. Two of the kiddos, it's like I'm asking to eat a bug or something. Oh, my God, I have the world's pickiest eater. Ashley, I'm right there with you. Um, does it tell you what to eat and, like, a shopping menu to make it easier? So it does not. So just like the 21-day fix, it lists all the foods that you can eat. It has ideas for snacks. It has ideas for breakfasts. It has ideas for lunches and dinners. But it's up to you to create your own meal plan. And I bet you, if you ask around, you could be like, hey, girl, what did you eat for lunch yesterday? Ooh, I'll write that down. Hey, girl, what did you eat for breakfast yesterday? What are you eating for breakfast tomorrow? Write that down, right? So we, we're all going to try recipes, right? And we all love each other. And we all love social media. So we're going to share that ish. And then we could copy that ish and be like, oh, my God, I just made your chicken pita pizza. And it was delicious. Woohoo!" So, and then there's things in the eating plan, like, I'm going to be honest, the pita pizza in the eating plan, it looked good, but it had barbecue sauce on it. And I am not about that style. I don't like barbecue sauce. So I did red pesto and I made it all like saucy, like, you know, like me type. And I shared it and it was delicious. And um, you try things that work with you. And if you try something and you don't like it, it's not like you are carved 
you carved a contract in stone saying you have to eat it every, every day for the rest of your life, keep it going. You, you should send me your meal plan. I don't have a meal plan. I just, ah, damn it, Angie, you're going to make me do all the work. No. 500 bucks. Just options. <laughs> Well, go, go on my blog. I literally, I shared a couple I'm recipes last week. Huh? I'm on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I shared a couple recipes last week, and then on my Instagram, I always share um, recipes, what I'm eating and stuff. But um, And your meal plan varies. So you're going to have different, it's just like the 21-day fix where you have different tiers of, you know, plan A or plan B or plan C or plan D. So you know how many e you eat each week or each day. What I found works is I make a grocery list and meal plan for a week and I save them and rotate them every few weeks. Oh, that's such a great idea. Gosh, got some smart cookies on here. Share your meal plan on the stuff. Of, oh, you guys are making me do all the work. Anything on Pinterest? Yes, lots of, yeah, you guys could search on Pinterest um, for 21 day fix meal ideas. Do you sit down in the afternoon and do it for the week? So what I do personally for my, for my meal plan is every Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on how my, my weekend goes, um, I, I'll sit down and I'll plan my meals. Um, I am very visual. So I have, it's really silly, like it's kindergarten style here. So I have um, my son's coloring pencils and I have boxes above my meal plan. How many of each color that I need to eat a day? And so it helps me visualize what I need to be eating. Like, oh my gosh, I have too many yellows here. This is what I need to break down because I'm visual. So I need, I need the different colors. And then I'll, on my meal plan, I'll write like chicken, I'll write it in red and spinach. I'll write it in green. That way it helps me. And it's, it's more fun to me that way. You know, grocery shopping is not fun for anybody, but then, yeah. So, and for those of you, here's a, here's a fit mom tip. If you guys have kids that are learning how to read, have them go grocery shopping with you with the grocery list and spell off the words and have them cross it off. My son gets super, well, I don't have to spell off the words anymore, but he gets so excited instead of like grabbing all the Oreos and Rolos and this, this, this. He's like, it keeps him busy. So that's a little tip for you guys. Sorry, another rampage. Oh, sweet visual learner here. Yes, I usually plan it Friday at work and then go grocery shopping Saturday, then cook Sunday. See, I work from home, and so I, I don't do meal prepping for the week because I found when I did meal prepping for the week, I'd be like, oh, what's this? And I will start taking food from Tuesday and then from Thursday and then come Tuesday and Thursday. I don't have that anymore because I got hungry and bored, and I kept going in my fridge. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I have a question. What's your question? So, um, I saw on the deluxe one that it came with that ladder thing. The agility. And it also comes with the container. So there's just not one that just comes with like the plan itself with the ladder, but no containers. Um, so there is the deluxe upgrade. So it comes with the three bonus workouts and the agility ladder itself. No containers, no basic program. Well, because I'm looking at the deluxe upgrade right now, and it shows containers on there, too. So I'm, like, super confused. Both pictures, the deluxe and the deluxe upgrade, have containers. But the, base kit, but the base kit doesn't have a ladder. It's, it's like, it's the whole ladder thing is what I'm... Well, so the deluxe get. kit comes with three bonus workouts plus the agility ladder. So the I guess the I don't know why it's there. showing up. I don't know why it's showing containers on here then. Really so weird. maybe the containers come with all, all packages, even the deluxe upgrade. I guess. I don't know. I was trying to just get it without the stupid containers. <laughs> I don't want extra ones. Hey, extra ones are always good. The basic <laughs> doesn't it comes with the containers. What? I don't see no, but, no, but there's no ladder. It doesn't come with the ladder workout. The basic doesn't oh, come with containers? want the ladder. No, like not the basic. Yeah, I'm looking at that too. That's why what? I asked because it doesn't look like the basic has the containers on there. Yeah, no. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I have my coaches to keep me on track. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't need to know everything all the time. But there's that. 
Are oh. we gonna do if like if people do buy just the basic and they've never done anything with the containers? Well, then you can just do the measurements for them. <clears throat> like okay. a purple cup is three and a three fourths of a cup. You can just help them that way. Okay. Yay, I'm going to buy it now. Yay, good, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm serious, you guys. This is a huge mental game changer for all of you who have ever felt a struggle in your life in any way, shape, or form. If you have ever felt not good enough, or if you've ever compared yourself, or if you've always wished you were richer, thinner, prettier, younger taller whatever like this is the program for you i'm not kidding you like you guys hold on i'm gonna stop recording real quick thank you for watching the recording